Hello Cox Cunts and Cluster Fucks. This is Blue Tiger, and this is beating a hardcore randomized fire red gym look. If you click on this video wondering what a gym look is, don't worry, the internet doesn't seem to have a consensus on the definition. For this video, a gym look refers to only catching one new Pokemon before each gym plus your starter. The randomized setting we'll be using are on the screen as well as the extra rules that won't be necessary to understand the video, but might be useful to know. You can pause the video if you want to read all of them, but with that explain, let's get into the video. We name ourselves D-Bag, and our rival, being a dickbag, stole our name. For this run, we will be using rare candies cheat to piss off the hardcore nuzlocking audience if the idea of a randomized nuzlocke didn't already put them into cardiac arrest. We set up our settings and pick our starter. Flareon's a decent fire type with good attack, seal, kinda trash, ferret, kinda mid. There are a lot of normal types we could encounter, so I pick the Firefox and name it Eden. D's nuts. Insomnia, nice. Jolly, alright. Due to the species cause I used, I will not be able to get any of the other evolutions, but what's the chances running into another evolutions as an encounter? Force feed it ender nuts to level 9 and it learn frustration. Fitting because if I didn't level up, I might get frustrated over this starting move set. We kill a lotad and set out for our first encounter. Sent we need to fight the rival before we enter Viridian Forest. Let hope we get something good on this route. fucking kidding me? On route 1, we catch a medisham and name it meds. Level it up to the same level as it ender nuts, and go to fight our rival. He sent out a skarmory that he didn't love enough to name and... Meds, moves. Fuck. How much does Whirlpool do? Nothing, beautiful. Mean look, great. Leech seed. Fucking love my life. Maybe growth straps? Clam. Even better. Tickle? Maybe we can drop his death so we can do damage. Yeah, we're fucked. God damn it. Attempt 2. Okay, let's skip all the chit chat and just get straight into the starters. Nidrino. Maybe I could evolve it into an Adoking, but if I fail to find a Moonstone, then this is just dead weight. Arbok is safer than Nido, but less stronger than the King. And Wingull is a Wingull. I pick the snake and name it Rimati. Sorry for my pronunciation, I'm on 6 shot of heroin and too high to re-record. It has drizzle, and a pretty decent moveset. Politoed might be a bit harder than the Lilipad though. Oh, thank fuck. I steal an old man's balls and catch an Aerodactyl. Maybe. Maybe not. Thank fuck. Name the bastard Aerodactyl. Timid, I don't think it's the best nature because it's already outspeeding and swift swim. The RNG gods really want me to have a rain team this run. The rival isn't gonna like this. Volbeat, lol. Omnipost in this bitch motherfucker. Damn it. Spore can turn a shitman into a monster. 
but they decide to wake me up and let me kill it. Thank you. Now we got Buzz Boy, with color change, and mud shot, still dies. Lol, loser. L plus ratio plus luck to these nuts. An old man shows me how to kidnap a dragon and it's time to kill Brock. If this was normal Brock, a rain team could massacre his gym. But since we don't know what's coming, there might be a problem behind those doors, to explain a bit about how gyms are done. The level cap is only for entering the gym and we have to fight every trainer in the gym. If any trainer in the gym was a struggle, I'll let you know, but most trainers will just be skipped. So now we fight Brock, and he brought a grass type against the rain team. Thankfully, our rain team doesn't have any water type so hopefully, we can peck this Venus or to its grave. Don't know if that crit matters, but now Brock is a problem. Aero could kill the Vena, but is the next one gonna be a threat? Kinda. Thankfully we resist their stab. And they was able to kick the shit out of that baboon ass bitch. We defeated Brock, but the death of Atmati is a problem as we don't get a lot of mons for this type of challenge. I decided to reset. I lost the footage for Lose attempt it, 3 so here's it, an unlicensed stuff it, stop it, photo for your amusement. It, attempt 4. Starters, Torkoal, Tanky, Pretty Nice, Politoed, Unless it got Drizzle, It Kinda Mid, Ride On, It's a Pretty Nice Man but the low special defense combined with the two quad weaknesses attacking that weak special death make me deterred from picking M. Pick the Torkoal and name it. Is it even worth showing this fight? I might just sk- Oh, I forgot to level up. Bubble. And that did jack shit. Feel like crits are gonna decide this battle. That was way too close for the power difference, but a pseudo bolt beam on the move set is nice. Calm. Well we're probably using a special Torkoal. So the extra special defense would be helpful for tanking hits. Not being put to sleep is also a plus. Raticate might be useful for a normal randomizer, but the opportunity cost is a bit too high to consider it for this gym look. Pali whirl, no. Hopefully, Route 2 will have some good shit, old man. That not a dragon, what are you? Flare and don't want to go 2v1 in a randomizer so guess I'll catch it. Get in the ball. Ball. Now. Stay you stupid mutt. Good. Name them fire. Because I forgot their original name. Kinda mid. At least it got a useful moveset. Rival sent out an Ido ran that he caught in the normies grass. With fucking bubble beam. That crit might have been helpful. Shift mode? What is this? Gen 9? Loudred didn't do much. And Aurora being taken down, Brock time. Almost forgot to level them up. That could have been a problem. Brock sends out an Aaron and I bring out fire. Aaron set up drought for my fire types as I strike him down with a quad effective low kick. He sent out a scyther next. Crit chop did a lot of damage. Confusion did a lot of damage. Ow. Shift to Illic Chirtle to tank a karate chop. Aurora beam nearly kill scyther and lower it attack. Oktazuka might be a problem for our team. Illic Chirtle gets confused and hit itself. If this one miss, we're in trouble. But Scyther ends up missing and we get the kill. Damn, we can actually see the rest of Kanto now. Well, it's time for Rock Tunnel. 
which is going to be a problem because we have to one-shot the dungeon and we have a limited amount of healing items. Man, I better not get another Joltian as an encounter. The RNG gods are trolling me, aren't they? But we got something better than a Vapor Iron. Not that. Leftovers. We sneak past Team Rockets using my sneak skill of 100, and got out of there alive. Got a tutor to teach fire protect, Flygon. That's a good encounter. Quadice weakness is a bit scary though. Name him Fefifa. Quiet, static, rival fight. I decided to clear out Nugget Bridge to save EXP for Surge, Steelix, physically tanky. Flatter, thank you. Take down the metal snake and out come an intimidate. This is a shockingly tanky intimidate. Next is Gardevoir. And like a Chertle is a beast. Rhyhorn, lol, dead. Raise a wind, Krillia Nugget Bridge and now it's time to kill Misty. Misty send out a Lunatone and I brought out Turtle. It used Supersonic and Elic Chertle hit itself in confusion. Speed boost. We're already slower. Thief, dick. Wait, why does Turt still have their lefties? She bring out a Waylord and I stay in with a fire type and use Thunder Shock. Paralyzed, nice. Crit Scratch did nothing. I send in Fefifa on a super potion and spam poison tails on the fat ass until the whale become an underwater buffet. Mist is down. I think this might be the run. Found Blaze Kick on the ground and taught it to fire for the stab. Meet Bill the Furry. He's so desperate to be a Pokemon that he spent his whole life building a machine that will turn him into a jiggly jiggly puff, but didn't think about the consequences of not having human fingers. T got a rod and a ticket and went fishing for some good shit. That counters good shit, but catching this is going to be a pain in the ass. Charmed its attack down. Static it with Fefifa. And kidnap this aquatic sloth bear before they can kill the entire team. Name him Belly Welly. Now it's time to massacre this entire boat to teach our Pokemon how to cut thumbs. Damn it, bag. He sent out a dugong. After some agonizing sleep tactics, we kill it with a double kick. After a fake out, we did the same with Umbron. We beat our rival monkey and last out is Bell Sprout. Slack off and kill the plant for the win. Snorlax sweeps the entire ship and now it's time to turn Surge into a power outage. He sent out a Kadabra and I send out Fefifa. Bonarang, which I got from the SSN, one shot the bipedal cat. Next is Dragonair. Send in Turtle into a bide, Aurora Beam should kill, barely kill, still storing energy. Next Wait. one sh we were speed tying, god. Damn. It. Elika Turtle was a great Pokemon that could have been useful throughout the rest of the game. That fucking sucks. A super potion couldn't prevent Snorlax from stomping their skull into dust. An aerial ace takes down their Roselia. I don't know if that crit matters, but I know that I'm pissed about like a Chertle's death. May we all comment F to pay respect, and help me exhort the algorithm with engagement. Now it's time for Mount Moon. This place is full of tough, mandatory trainers that are capable of killing us. Hopefully we can get through this tunnel without any of the Pokemon dying to a random trainer. Easy. On Route 12 we fish up a T-Tar. I think the cool kids would call this Poggers. I just master ball that bitch because it's the strongest possible encounter. Name M Runny Runra. It got a quad weakness to fighting moves, but what's the best fighting move? Cross chop. I'm not too concerned. Neutral nature, early bird, let's test this puppy out. 
so reversal might be a problem. We reach Erika City. I'm actually a bit afraid of the gym because there's a shitload of trainers to deal with. Thankfully, the Pokemon aren't forcefully evolved yet, but I'm not certain if we can survive Erika unscathed. I got a few important things and went to the gym. Somehow we had no trouble with the shitload of trainers in the gym, but this RK9 might be a problem. No. Body slam no. parry is a problem. No. Switch to belly welly because it's bulky with a leftover. Static the RK9. Stomp on the fire dog's toes as it suffer from a paralyzed spines. Another stomp and a para got it into potion range. Got a hell of a lucky with the two para and a flinch. I honestly think we could have lost this battle if none of those things happen. Switch to Fefifa and kill it with a bone rang. She sent out her Pidgeotto, send out Runny Runra and fly on this bird fourth badge. We're making pretty good progress. We only have Koga, Blaine, Giovanni, and a couple of rival fights, and then we're in business for beating the big four. Also, we invade the game corner out of boredom, found a choice band and now it is time for Giovanni. He sent out a fossil and we kick it back into the museum. Next it's a bouncy little spoink, dead. Arcanine is the last Pokemon. Erika's was a bit of a problem that we were able to luck out so, it roars. Rival four time and he got his hoe end starter from May and I switch into belly welly for some reason, one shot the starter and he brings out a baby groundhog. Good baby groundhog. A bonnet? Time for choice band runny runry to kill this bitch with shadow ball. Octillery. A bit of a threat if I let it. I stay in and hit it with shadow ball for the win. Finally, another monster stolen from May. Swamp but, kinda wish that I kept Giga Drain on this thing, but shadow ball have no problem two shotting the mudfish. I'm starting to run out of way to say that a battle was easy. Speaking of easy, killed a level 30 Diglett and enter cycling road. I hate this route, but. Damn it. The bike is a bitch to handle. Damn it. Are you kidding me? Holy fucking shit, fuck my life. Are you fucking with me? I didn't know superpower was even in this game. I hate this fucking route. Catch a smooch him on route 15 because Jinx is a good Pokemon. Jinxies evolve into. Glee. Forgot that evolution was randomized. So with Targon, Koga is going to be a bit of a problem. The plan is to train Belly Welly on the gym trainers to get him up above the level cap. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting something. Koga starts with a Roselia. I used Blaze Kick on Fire to take it down and next up is Sudo Wudo, who die in a single surf. Crit didn't matter. Polypa comes out and I hit it with a Thunder Punch. We might not need Belly Welly after all. Last is Laugh of Dash. Laugh of Dash potion us and then Cocker span hyper potions and we span surf back until fire is a bit too weak to keep going. I sent out Jinxies on an expected hyper potion. One drill peck later. The horse fall to the ice rock and we beat Cocker. Time for Blaine. We catch a Lomba with Drizzle. I think my plan for the rest of the game is to have this as the lead and spam surf on all my Pokemon. I name it Lila Luva and then remember that Sabrina exists. With the same level cap that Koga has. And some of my Pokemon are already over level. But Silphko doesn't have a level cap, so I plan to use my over level fire and belly welly to sweep the rival and the team rockets time for the rival. He sends out a Chimacho and we laugh at him. Next is an Queen. But I use a Surf and she slams me with a mud shot. It's not in healing range so I used another surf to knock it down. Cacturn is up next and I switch into belly welly as it goes for acid armor. Another acid armor and my fly is barely doing a third. I remember that Cacturn is a dark type and hit it with a sky uppercut as it uses T to dance. 
It then go for a pain split, bringing it back to full as we hit it with another uppercut. Another teether danced and we hit ourselves in confusion. Twice. I think Leftovers is saving our ass this run. 20 minutes later. Finally, the freaking prick is dead. Next out is a bunch of vines with footies. We fly while still confused because we are baller like that and avoid hitting ourselves as we crash land into the hentai ball. A strength was able to put the hentai ball out of its misery. Last is muck, I hit it with a strength, doing slightly better than nothing. But the only thing this toxic slime is capable of knowing is how to peck with its non-existent beak. So we were able to span the hell out of strength and win the battle. Falirith dies to two thunder punches. Ride on plus surf equals dead. Medisham takes a fiery 1-2 kick and Glide Gar gets swept up by a surf. Fire is a boss and Giovanni is a bitch, so I have to box the two best Pokemon on my team for Sabrina. Now I'm going 3v4 against a fully evolved team and this might be the end of the run if I play this wrong. Also, say hi to Garbage, I got them from Sylph. I don't want to lose Drizzle, but Lila Luva needs to be fully evolved so he isn't mostly dead weight in the gym. Venusaur is a good Pokemon, hey Sabrina. Can you go as easy as your trainers so I can win? She sends out Gut and I bring out Fefifa. Two facades were able to knock the bird out. Surviper comes out and I can't hit them with the bone because Fefifa has a choice band so I switch to Jinxes, who eat a blizzard. Two egg bombs took the snake out. Next come another muck, so I switch into Fefifa to give a bitch a bone. Cosmic power can't save you from a super effective choice band. Finally, it's a hitman jump. Try to give him the bone, but he floats on a motherfucker. I switched to Lila Luva and used Surf before seeing that it's Sunny and Hitman got that good special bulk. So I switched to Slash and slice this manman into high proportion range. He heals, I slash one more time before switching into Jinkies. He drills back the Hitman gym. That was the sixth batch. We get a slow bro from a fossil and name him Slu. Mild, overgrown. They're an okay guy. Tail Glow is going to be boss with Surf. Oh, hey Blaine. By Ipum. By Parasect. Switch to Fefe for hit M with the 90 accurate. Stab, choice band earthquake. Hey Cha Cha, meet Slu. <laughs> Crit Crunch would guarantee death, but thankful our luck stat is too high for that shit. By Blay caught a Nuzzle Leaf because it sound like Nuzzle and honestly, I was running out of places to get encounters at this point. Wait, did I actually name it Newscock? I mean I know I'm immature but goodum. Ooh, Ludi. Could you do me a favor and have drizzle like your child? Fuck yeah. Hello Venny. I'd whip your ass twice and I'm coming for three and oh prepare to get wash up, spit out, and flush down the drain. Geo sent out a muck and I make it rain. Damn, I'm actually shocked he survived that. Well I'm not in a great position now, so I switch into Fefifa. Choice banded bone M him dead. Or, cute Dino. Meet my homie, Belly Welly. Static. Why thank you. Fat boy being flying on these dinosaurs and teaching these bitches why they're only seen in the fossil records. Furret, angry that I didn't pick him as a starter, went on a tantamand. Give it a second. Guys. Gligar. I recover in it unevolvable face. They ain't gonna be a fan of what slow gonna do to M. He wished to himself for survival, but some wishes don't come true as I tail glow the very grey shelter on mass, ready to whoop a team into shape. Dead. Dead. Rip.
press F to pay respect, but my finger ain't on the F because of the disrespect I be giving them. I caught an abra, name it's tits and ass, and tits and ass evolve in an alakazam. Tits and ass ain't got good moves. Tits and ass be vibing in the box, for the elite four and champ battles. I will be using the timed and tested poker tuba tradition of not commentating over the Elite Four because I'm too lazy to edit the ending. If you need me, I'm going to take a nap.
that was a pretty scary final rival fight. I can't believe Ludi live on 1 HP and was able to cap the arrow. Anyway, I'm Blue Tiger, this was beating a randomized hardcore gym look. Like and subscribe if you like the video, let me know what I can do to make the video better, and if you guys got some subjection for what I could do for the next vid, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.